What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Chris, aka Mr. 5, 4540 TV in the building. Today, I am working on a 2011 BMW 750 Li, and I have a code P112F, P112F, which is um, the manifold absolute pressure or throttle angle too high um, on bank one, and also. It threw another code, which is P0171, um, which it could be the mass airflow sensors dirty, faulty, um, a faulty stuck open PCV valve, um, a vacuum leak. It could be a whole bunch of other things. Um, I, you will experience a lack of power, um, a rough idle, a hedge, um, um, hesitation, uh, acceleration. But I'm going to show you exactly what will fix that issue well actually what to look for uh, which could be the issue and with those codes um whatever that issue is is going to be in front of the mess airflow sensor um usually so i've already taken my mess airflow sensor off um you see there's one there on your driver's side and bank one is here on your passenger side so i removed my mesh airflow sensor and i found this so this is the crankshaft breather hose and it was actually uh in there it connects let's see right here this part connects in here just like that and it connects to this right here again remember i said well the issue is is in front of the mesh airflow sensor mesh airflow sensor sits here the issue is in front of it. Um, so I do have a replacement and this is actually a replacement that I already put up there. As you see, it looks kind of brand new. And then this one is more older. So this don't have no writing on it. Um, so I went on to order another one um, and you will need a T30 to take the bolts off. So the bolts go right here, and it's another bolt that goes right here. So it should be two bolts, and I had to use this on the the rear side one to get that off. And of course, you know, with the mesh airflow sensor, just take these off. Um, there's a torque bolt that goes right there where that hole is. But um, that's self-explanatory. You can get that off easily. Um, so. I'm going to go ahead and put this on, and this should clear my codes up. Um, I know that that's the issue because I had a code for that before, and I replaced it with this new hose, in which what I'm going to do is, with the new hose, now, because I guess it, it gets brittle quick, I'm going to wrap this new hose with um, black electrical tape all the way around it, so it'll keep it more um, sturdy. Yep, so... Hope this fixes y'all issue. Um, so again, that's for those codes, the 112 F and also what was it? P0174, I believe it was. Let me make sure. I'm just gonna tell y'all the right one. It was P071. P0171, P0171. So and that's on bait one, which is your passenger side. So again, hopefully this fixes y'all issue. Um, one thing with these 745s is you find a lot of coolant leak from these hoses. I replaced all these hoses. Every last one of them had a leak. Well, it had a leak before. You see that? Kinda should have cleaned that off, but uh, everything else just replaced. Yeah, and look, keep a uh, check on this too. This is your turbo coolant. Uh, make sure you check, a, keep a check on that because a lot of people don't um, replace it. So it's right there at the max, at the bottom of the max. So you should be good on that and everything. But yep, that's my issue. Uh, I'm about to knock that out real quick. Hopefully this video has helped you all. Um, make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Um, and look up my other videos, check my other videos out. Might be something that 
also can help you with your Tahoe, BMW, Mercedes. Just let me know. All right, have a good day.